My name is Mitchell Goldman. I'm the president of the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery and a volunteer clinical professor of dermatology at the University of California, San Diego. It's clear that with the survey that the ASDS has just performed, we're seeing a 20 to 30 percent increase in cosmetic procedures as well as skin cancer procedures by dermatologists, specifically dermatologic surgeons. Of course, it's very difficult to handle this increase, but it's happening pretty easily. And the way we're, be able, we're, the way we're doing it is basically becoming more efficient in our practice. What we've seen is upwards of a 50% increase in the treatment of leg veins with a procedure called sclerotherapy. We're seeing 20 to 30% increase in procedures like neuromodulators like Botox, Dysport, and Xeomin, as well as a variety of fillers. What's happening is that as dermatologic surgeons, we're seeing more patients for more procedures and we're doing this much more efficiently than we used to. Some of us are using physician extenders to help us in doing this. Not that the physician extenders are actually performing the surgical procedures, but taking care to some degree of our pre- and post-operative patients, as well as answering uh, patient questions. But one of the main factors and the main attributes of the dermatologic surgeons, especially the ASDS members, is that we tend to do most of the procedures ourselves. So, okay, maybe we're working a little bit longer, maybe we're taking a little bit less vacation, but we're providing better care to our patients. It's hard to predict what practices are going to be doing in 2014 if we continue to have this 20 to 30 percent increase in both skin cancer as well as cosmetic procedures. What probably is going to continue to happen is there will be a further split in the specialty of dermatology where there will be dermatologists per performing mostly medical procedures and then another set of dermatologists performing mostly surgical procedures as well as minimally invasive cosmetic procedures. That doesn't mean to say that we're going to give up being dermatologists because whether we're dermatologic surgeons or cosmetic surgeons, we're all dermatologists and that's what makes our specialty so strong and that, what's what, that is what makes us able to deliver the best care to our patients. We just have to start working a little bit smarter. We have to be a little more efficient in the way we're seeing our patients and in my office, the way my, myself and my five physicians are doing this is we've actually hired more nurses. So every physician has three separate nurses, which allows us to be the most efficient that we can. Because when we're not in a room, it's our nurses that are left behind in the room that are further answering questions that our patient may have and, um, and finishing up any of the remaining aspects of the procedure uh, such as placing bandages and the like. It's hard to say what's made this 20 to 30 percent increase in all of our procedures. Obviously the public is becoming more and more aware that dermatologic surgeons are the go-to people not only for skin cancer but for cosmetic procedures. We're obviously seeing an increase in the economy, no matter what the press says, and that's allowing patients more leeway to do cosmetic procedures.